Hello, my name is Joel Windsor, Project Manager for MusicFestivalSuite.com. Music Festival Suite is a simple, robust, secure, cloud-based management system for festivals, allowing teachers, parents, and entrants to register in their local festivals, while also making life easier for the volunteers of those festivals. This video walkthrough will take you through registering in your local music festival. This video walkthrough assumes that you have already created all the profiles you need to attach to the registrations you wish to enter, including teachers, parents, and entrants. If you have not yet done so, please view the Creating and Using Profiles video on MusicFestivalSuite.com. Navigate to your festival's MusicFestivalSuite.com portal, which you can usually find a link for on your festival's website. If you cannot remember your password for logging in, you can use the Password Reset button, which will give you a reset link in your email. Once you've logged in, you will be able to go to the menu and choose the Registrations button to begin the registration process. If your registration period is not open, MusicFestivalSuite.com will let you know when those registration periods are. When you are ready to enter your registrations, you will be prompted with a screen that gives you a reminder to all the things that you will need to have prepared to enter your registration. When you are ready to register, the first thing you will need to identify is who you are registering for, yourself, your student, or your child. You will then need to select the class that you are registering in. Information about the classes can be found by way of your local festival's syllabus. Once selected, you will need to work your way through every single detail of your registration. First starting, of course, with the performers and the details attached to those performers, the pieces and the details attached to those pieces, and finally the final details. Inside your pieces, if your festival accepts TBA registrations, you will be able to click on the musical note icon to enter TBA in those fields. However, you should always default to putting in as much information about the pieces as you possibly can. With regards to the opus and show title, or the arranger, if you do not have one of those, then you can always identify that there is none by clicking on the information icon on the right. Make sure that you enter the length of the piece in seconds, not in minutes. Inside your final details, you will need to identify who is going to be paying the registration. You will also get an opportunity to enter the accompanist ID in many festival registrations, as well as entering some comments if necessary, if the festival requests it. Once you submit your registration, if you are responsible for paying the fees for the registrations, you will be directed to your account, where you will see a full list of all of the registrations that you have entered. You do not need to pay them one at a time you can wait until all of your registrations have been entered before paying a final invoice. Please note that the invoice will include any late registration penalties or transaction fees levied by your festival. Once you've entered all the registrations that you would like to enter, click the Pay This Invoice Now. All payments are processed by way of PayPal payment processing. You do not need a PayPal account, but you will need a credit card to submit your payments. If you are ever prompted to create a PayPal account, please know that you do not have to, that is your own decision. Once you have submitted your payment, you will be redirected back to your profile's account screen where you will get a chance to see every single payment you have ever submitted. At any time, you can go back into your profile and under the menu find the registrations option, where you will see a full and complete list of all the registrations attached to your profile, either as a teacher, parent, entrant, or even an accompanist. You can, of course, see the receipts for, or if they haven't been paid, it won't be a check mark. You'll see it'll be a dollar sign that you will see indicating it still needs to be paid. You can also edit registrations if your festival happens to still be in a registration period. Once your festival registration period is over and your festival volunteers have processed all the registrations and created the schedule, you will be able to see your schedule through your profile. Log into your MusicFestivalSuite.com profile, and in the menu you will find a new schedule option when your festival's volunteers make it available to you. Inside the schedule option you will see a list chronologically ordered of all of the registrations that you are attached to and when and where they are playing. You will also notice that beside each of the registrations inside the details, 
is a calendar icon where you can click on that calendar icon to see the participant card, which many festivals will ask you to bring to the festival locations. Additionally, you can view when each of your registrations have been scheduled through the registrations screen in your menu. When you click on any one of the registrations for their details, you will be able to see again that calendar icon as well as a synopsis of when and where that registration is expected to be performed. You should not expect your festival to send a synopsis of the schedule or any other reports of the schedule to you directly by email as all of your schedule information will be inside your profile. One of the most important features of MusicFestivalSuite.com is its support. Whenever you need it, it is there. Inside your profile, look inside your menu and find the support section. Inside the support section, you will see links to various resources on creating your profiles, registering, and other things that you may need help with. If the answers aren't there available for you, you can enter your own support ticket, which is sent directly to the support liaison with your local festival, and they have a direct line with the MusicFestivalSuite.com staff. To make life easier on your festival's volunteers, we request that you send a support ticket request only when you've exhausted all the other support resources that are readily available to you. Thank you once again for using MusicFestivalSuite.com.